guys and welcome to Nicker. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So this is going to be considered kind of amigurumi basics, where um, I have seen all over Pinterest this new unique way of doing increasing for your amigurumi. This is not a basic beginner video. I am not going to be teaching you how to do anything in the round or how to single crochet, but I'm just going to kind of mention a new technique on how to do increasing for your amigurumi so if you're kind of comfortable with working around and doing that you will know that with amigurumi you have a tendency to increase six stitches every single round so you single crochet six into your magic ring that's what these are right here this is your first round and then the second round you increase every single one of those stitches to 12 then you increase every other stitch to 18 every third stitch to 24 and so on and so forth until you get to the size that you want. So every third, fourth, fifth, every sixth stitch you do an increase. And what can happen when you're doing that is you end up with these lines. This is where it's the most prominent. You end up with this line going down and also it almost looks like a hexagon. So when it makes a hexagon, you're trying to make a circle, you're trying to make it around. So um, that's a problem. And yeah, it's not like the biggest problem in the world. Uh, you can still kind of go single crochet around and make a ball and do all that but it'd be nicer if it wasn't a line and it looked a bit more seamless. So I actually started working on a different amigurumi and this is what I've been doing for a lot of my baby Lunas as well, is there is like, I've only ever come across Russian charts. So I'm gonna actually pop up my own chart and try to make one of my own in English and with English um, terms. But I've ended up trying to like weasel around and find what all of that means. People have been staggering their increases on their even increase rounds. So um, they still start out the same, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean, but they're staggering it so that it is split down the center of your um, even increase rounds. I'll explain a little bit better than I have. <laughs> um, so essentially, you start with your see how you don't see any lines on this one you start with your six single crochet you increase every single stitch and then on the next one where you single crochet two and increase instead you single crochet one increase single crochet one single crochet one increase single crochet one single crochet one increase single crochet one the next round where you single crochet three and increase is exactly the same but on the next one where you single crochet where you usually would single crochet four and increase instead you single crochet two increase single crochet two increase because you're splitting the difference and putting your stitch your increase in the center of your increases of your even rows if that makes sense i'm going to show it on camera and show exactly what i mean but this is actually going to be my next tutorial i'm going to be doing one of the um, Fall Guys characters because I was requested that and I'm really excited and this is really cute. I need to figure out how I'm going to do its face. But in today's video, I'm going to be using some Vanna's Choice. I understand that in a lot of places this is actually going out. I don't know if Vanna's Choice has actually been bought out or what's going on with Vanna's Choice, but this is essentially a worsted weight yarn. I'm gonna be using my Furls Crochet Hook. This is a size D or a 3.25 millimeter. I am an affiliate with Furls Crochet, but I fell in love with them before I was an affiliate. So I have links for that down below if you're interested. Again, this is a size four yarn and whatever amigurumi you're making, you'll need some stuffing, you'll need stitch markers if you wanna keep track of that way. I have a tendency to just use my tail as a stitch marker, but that's what it looked like before. That's what your normal increasing is, but we're going to try to play with some of this pink, which is also gonna be one of the fall guys. I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna make a slip knot and do my magic ring, just like I do for any of my amigurumi. My magic ring looks different than a lot of other people's magic rings because I just chain two. I don't like and can't really, I'm dyslexic, so my brain doesn't always wrap around the way that other people do things. This is how I do things. Um, I'm going to go and skip my second chain and go back into the first. And I'm going to place a single crochet in the inside of that. And then I'm gonna repeat that five times. So I'm gonna go back inside that same stitch and then go two, go inside, three, four, five, and six. I've got a big old K 
cat laid on my desk and I apparently was in a hurry to get this going and apparently was on my yarn ball. All right, there is a hole. I'm going to pull that tight and make it so that it is closed. We are then going to increase every single one of these stitches by working in the round. I go back into the first single crochet that I made. And yes, I am going through just the front loop of my crochet. There's two V, there's two loops here with the V. I like to go through just the front one. Um, I think that that looks bubblier and that's, it gives me more options later on if I want to work through the back stitches as well. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm going to just put an increase. So I put two stitches inside every single one of these, um, stitches here. I'm going to go from six to 12. I'm also going to pop up a thing that explains what the entire pattern is. I bought a new yarn bowl and it is not like sanded here. So it's why I'm having a harder time with this yarn bowl. I might actually just treat it out with a different one. Um, where we were about halfway through our increases as I try not to go off camera. Increase. How many stitches do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to do two more increases. So this one is an increased stitch as well. Increase. And increase. So now, oops. Nope, increase. I'm splitting this yarn because it's been bald for a while. I've had this in a basket for forever, but this is the perfect color for like the main Fall Guys guy. I like using both these colors. I'm pretty excited. All right, so I'm super caffeinated, so I apologize if I seem like I'm all over the place right now. All right, I want to get all the information out there that I can and try to make sure that I'm adding everything. I will slow down. <laughs> All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve stitches. I like to take my tail and pull it through the last stitch that I created, and that's how I keep track of my work. Apparently, there's just fur everywhere. Every time I pull on this, my cat must have laid in my basket or something because it doesn't look like there's fur on it, but there is. All right, so next up we have a um, single crochet one increase, single crochet one increase. That's the same. So we're going to just single crochet one. We're going to go from 12 stitches to 18. So one, and then we increase the next stitch. I'm going to try not to let my thumb hide what my stitches are. I split my yarn there. Let's try that again. One, and then increase. Increase two in that one stitch, so that's 13. One increase to 14. Two, 14. One, 15. One, 16. One, 17 and this is our last increase for this round we are on round three one two three and increase this last stitch I'm gonna move my tail to go forward just slightly and so you notice that I'm only doing one increase one increase so on and so forth but now that I'm on a um, on the next row here, I'm going to single crochet, what I normally would do is single crochet two and increase. And what causes that line is your increases are all going adjacent to where they were before. So you have this kind of larger stitch and it just looks larger because you're putting two stitches in one area. So there's gonna be this slightly larger hole to your stitch. And how we can minimize the appearance of that is if we stagger our stitches. So on your uh, even stitches, so when you have an even number of stitches to go between each increase, you can stagger that out. So instead of single crocheting two and increase, um, you can single crochet one, increase single crochet one the entire time around. That just makes it so that your increase is offset slightly from where your last increase was. So I'll show you. We have one, 
single crochet and instead of doing another single crochet where it would be right over your increase from the last round you are now going to increase that stitch and it will make it so that it is slightly off from where you would want it before so that's an increase right there and single crochet one single crochet one increase single crochet one now we're going to single crochet one increase single crochet one 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 and I believe we have one more increase in this let me double check I actually am not sure one two three four actually that might have been our last one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. That was our last one. So we have 24 stitches now on our work. I'm going to take my tail and pull that through my last um, stitch right there. And we're going to go back to what we would normally do to go from 24 to 30. So to do that, you're going to single crochet 3 and increase just like you normally would. So all the ones that have your um, odd numbers are just the same as they were before. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and your increasing is going to be over, where's my last increase? Over here for your last round. It starts to stagger them and makes it so that they're not all lined up and in a line together. That was an increase. This is now single crochet one two nope two there we go three four and five so that was an increase four and five are in the same stitch there together one two three and four is the increase so that's an increase right there and one two three I'm going to show you one more time for one more row after this and then that will be pretty much be what you do for the entirety of um, when you're doing your increasing you can make this as big or as small as you want one two three I like how this looks a lot better, personally. Four and five. Let's pull this yarn out a bit more so I have a little bit more to work with. One, two, three. I always split my yarn again. It's because this has been in a ball for forever, so it's really easy to split and it's older. But I need to use up my old stash so before I can buy new. Four and five. So we're gonna move our tail along just like we always do. All right, so essentially you have just done a single crochet three and increase. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna split the difference again. We are, I just went through these loops, but I figured out a better way to explain it. Um, we're going to single crochet, what we would normally do is single crochet four and increase, but we're gonna split the difference. And essentially we're gonna single crochet one, two, increase, three and then four are those single crochets as well. So we're going to single crochet one, two, increase, three, four, then one, two, increase, three, four, 
one, two, increase, three, just a single crochet, and four, one, two, increase, three, four, one, two, increase, three, four, one, I think this is the last one, this is the last one, one, two, increase, increase, three, and four. So that is all I'm going to be doing for increasing for my fall guys guy. He's just over here hanging out and that's how much I increased for his body. And then I single crochet around quite a bit. And so you would literally just keep doing that same formation and staggering your stitches. You can tell that this already looks less hexagonal than the other one does. It's a bit more circular. I did that for the eye on my fall guy as well. Um, you can keep doing the same idea for as long as you want, for as wide as you want, depending on how big of an amigurumi that you want. I think that this looks a little bit neater and tidier and it looks a little bit more professional. So that's what I've been doing for my increasing lately, and I just kind of wanted to share that real quick. Um, I'm going to pop up a chart and also have a little pattern down below for you. So if you're interested in that, let me know. It'll all be linked down below, and hopefully I'll have already shown it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do the whole like, subscribe, do all that other stuff that you know people already tell you to do every single video. Um, we have a Patreon, we have PayPal, we have all that other stuff so you like what we do here and um, you're able to. We have links for that down below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Stay tuned for my Fall Guys tutorial which will be coming right up. Um, this was a quick little side project and then I will be getting back to my Luna Squishes and Luna Babies. I will be hopefully posting the cat, the sloth, and the unicorn and then I'll be going on to the bear. Alright, until next time guys. Bye!